a oopsie. Sneeko did a oopsie. Whoever that is. Let's get into it. Basically, from what I am told, Sneeko was a skit channel and whatnot back in the good old days of YouTube. Now, I'm not really sure what he does, besides star Basically, this man said he liked cuties. And if y'all don't know, cuties is that show on Netflix where the little girls were shaking and all that and all that nasty, nasty stuff. He said it's okay with him. He also said his girlfriend, he was watching his girlfriend get her doonies beat down. Well, I was showing y'all. Well, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it because I'm a lady. And basically, Moist Critical, aka the Jesus of YouTube. YouTube, Charlie called him out on it basically like like you're gross like I think he made a video about him y'all don't know Charlie he just makes videos like old YouTube style videos sitting in front of the camera for the last year or so I've slowly built up this room until it's resembled this fucking 16 chapel I'm in right now and you know Sneeko did not like that uh, he liked that Charlie was talking about him and he ended up making this collage of all the YouTubers who've like ever like talked about him what did he say he's talking about all the YouTubers who tried to cancel me I'm like okay <laughs> What kind of person you gotta be to be like, look at all the people who tried to cancel me. I'm like, you must be the problem, because if all the people were trying to cancel you, who's the problem? And Charlie, you know, he, he's kind of funny, so he decided to reply to this, and he said, Holy shit, you pathetic, sensitive soy, little worm. <laughs> I made fun of you for watching your girlfriend get fucked by numerous other men, and also insulted you for defending child. That's not cancellation, that's just spitting on you for being a pitiful, a pitiful sad cut. And then bro, this is the funniest response because I feel like this is definitely the response you would give when you have no response. You like, you know what? Nico gonna reply talking about, you know in your soul you would never say that to my face. We got a real Mike Tyson over here. We got a real Floyd Mayweather. But like, who are you? Who are you like talk about you wouldn't say that to my face can you even fight you probably can't fight charlie responded and he said you literally have a collage of people that hurt your feelings on the internet haven't stopped whining about me for months now you goofy npc even if you beat my ass in a fight it doesn't change the truth you're still a cuck who also defends child p i mean it don't change the pain y'all after this it take a little turn you wouldn't believe the turn it takes but i'ma tell y'all dude sneeko gets on live and the day after i posted my response he went on stream and had a huge unhinged tantrum and meltdown about the whole thing and then he sent some of his viewers over so i was joking with them saying like oh you guys must have just stopped the cuties watch party over there at sneeko's stream right welcome cucks that kind of shit and it got really under his skin in a big way so he started dancing around with a gun and threatening to come shoot me i can see some people being like oh my god he really did that that's so scary y'all it was not scary like i feel like that would be scary to somebody who has never ever seen a gun and has only heard stories and tales of what it could do he over here with the gun like dancing like this i was like it was giving embarrassing it was giving embarrassing and then you wanna watch my clips watch my clips you absolute buffoon what you have there is not clips these are mags. They're mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this is also a mag. Okay, okay. I mean, it's a decent response for somebody who's saying like, oh, I'm gonna, I got this. But I mean, do you really fight guns with bigger guns? I don't know. If you ask me, I love Charlie, but it was really giving goofy. I was like, okay, okay, daddy got the gun or whatever. But like, at the same time, does it make you any bigger or better? Like bickering with somebody who like openly says they like cuties. Like, <laughs> and then you over here like, like y'all over here got the guns. Like it's definitely giving like cringe. I'm from the hood. Maybe I'm different or something. Cause I, I didn't think none of I thought it was very much corny, especially the first guy, Sneeko. I'm like, why is he dancing with the gun like that? And why you pull out a gun after he pull out a gun? Like it was dope. I would have just been like, you look silly as hell you don't even know where i'm at look at you dancing with that gun i would have just stayed talking stuff because like what you gonna do you gonna pull up on who but anyway i think that's all that happened so far because i think the guns got pulled out like the other day i just wanted to talk about it because i know it's gonna be trending and stuff like that i know it's gonna be a little it's gonna be a little popular a little bit so i was gonna just talk about it and, you know we usually, i was gonna say we usually don't do white people drama but that's a little racist like i usually only do the stuff i see on shade room and shade room is usually only like black entertainment like comment and subscribe